these are a pretty nice looking set of wheels in my opinion they're on my 93 S10 Blazer they're Boss 338 series 18's by 8 inch and they're nice looking wheels right from a distance maybe why don't you get up close to them so I can get the focus there kinda looks like water spots I can assure you those are not water spots what that is is that is bubbling and flaking chrome all four wheels have the same problem in one spot or another look at the back side that's particularly horrible in my opinion you can actually go and scratch the chrome off using your fingernail so if anyone tries to tell me that I can polish that off I really highly doubt that I'll polish the damn chrome right off is what's gonna happen <clears throat> so the story behind these wheels how old do you think they are maybe if some of you watch my videos you may have an idea how old we're looking how old you you may guess I picked these four up the last date on my receipt that I can see would be July 2nd, 2011. December 13th, 2013 is today. So, in the period of two years owning these wheels, they've already turned south and are fucking rusting and pitting. What kind of quality product did I pay top dollar for? When I ordered these wheels, it was at the moment that they were retooling their machines to produce this wheel because at the time it was a brand new wheel. The first set of rims I ordered showed up. Fortunately enough, I ordered them from a place in my local city and the wheels that showed up that were guaranteed to fit my truck <clears throat> didn't. Surprise, surprise. The problem was the hub in the back did not clear my brakes now the S10 I've got in question is a two-wheel drive it's got standard brakes on it nothing special but the original hub in this rim was tapered so the wheel fit almost all the way on and there was about a quarter inch gap between the actual brake disc and the back of the rim so they didn't even come close once we got a wheel spacer on there to space that that gap put the rim on and the center cap popped right off because it hit the, the, the nut in the hub on my wheel or sorry the dust cover I suppose on the bearing so the second set of rims got ordered this time with the right cut size in the back and four of them showed up perfect put them on the truck no wheel spacers everybody's happy I bring them home and I go to wash them I start washing them what the hell? Chrome coming off on my hands. I'm washing these by hand with a soft cloth, gentle soap, and I've got the chrome flaking in my hands and I've owned them for a day. Turned around, went back with my factory wheels in the back of my truck and I said, hey, I said switch them. I don't want them. Look what they're doing. So the company tried to make it right and they said, okay, keep those wheels in the truck. We'll send another set verify that they're okay and then you can have those new wheels give us back the old ones alright fine so I go there show up all four wheels are there two of them are nice the other two the same shit so I go back a second time when another two wheels come in and I finally get a set of four chrome wheels that aren't all fucked up from the factory and peeling chrome just to find out that two years down the road I don't even want to put them back on my truck because they look like shit I sent an email, I shouldn't say I shouldn't say that. I should say I tried to send an email to the manufacturer. Now those are Boss wheels. Um, Boss is American Eagle Wheel Corporation. They're the same company. And I tried both through their American Eagle Wheel website 
as well as the BOSS website to send them an email through their Contact Us tab. And both of those websites, for whatever reason, seem to have the Contact Us portion not functioning. Um, so last night, it was about 9 o'clock, this, this was Friday, I posted this, I, I sent this as a message, I didn't post this, I sent it as a message first on their Facebook page. Um, Hello, I'm contacting you with a question I have regarding my set of Chrome Boss 338 wheels, 18 by 8. I would like to know about any warranty these wheels may carry with them. The reason I'm asking is simply this. These wheels are installed on a 1993 two-wheel drive Chevrolet S10 Blazer. To give you an idea of the typical driving this vehicle does, it is lowered 4 inches from factory height in the front and 3 inches in the rear. The reason I feel this is relevant information is because this is not an off-road vehicle whatsoever. In fact, it has a newly rebuilt engine in the summer of 2013, which has only 3,500 kilometers on it. These rims are treated very well. My truck does not leave the driveway if the roads have dirt or moisture on them. During the winter months, these wheels are stored indoors and do not see the light of day until the first heavy rainfall of spring which washes away any salt from the road. Never do I drive down any gravel roads. My current issue with this product would be that after only two years of ownership and only about 5,000 kilometers of travel, these wheels are flaking chrome and appear to be pitting and rusting. It may be understandable that one of the four wheels may develop an issue. However, this has happened to all four wheels. I suppose you may want to know how I clean these wheels. There is only one soap I use when I hand wash my wheels, and is Murphy's Pure Vegetable Oil Soap. This was highly recommended by the business I purchased the wheels from. As well as that soap, I do like to use a chrome polish also. I only use Mother's Chrome Polish. As for a purchase date, I do have my original receipt. It reads July 2nd, 2011, and I feel that a product which is priced as high as high as they are, should last much longer than two years. I do not want to reinstall these wheels on my truck because honestly they look like crap. As it is found in your about page, and this is quoted from their website, American Eagle Wheel Corporation is committed to exceeding customer expectations by manufacturing the highest quality products at competitive costs. Through state-of-the-art technology and a responsibility to environmental concerns, we strive to be a benefit to our employees and an asset to the community and a positive experience for all who have contact with the company." End quote. I truly hope I will obtain some positive outcome from this experience. As it stands now, I feel I have purchased an inferior product. Thanks for reading. My sign, my name at the bottom. I have not received a response from that message I sent. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should put it up on their Facebook pages and post it as a real post and let everyone else read it and then link this video to it. I feel that people should know that if they're going to spend their hard-earned money on a product that they expect to last, even if it's taken care of or babied for this sake, that they don't want it to turn to shit for nothing. The reason I'm showing everybody this is, is truthfully, I don't want people getting taken advantage of like I feel I have been. Like, this wheel, it's just awful. I wouldn't, I don't even want to put this back on my truck. That looks terrible. It's disgusting. And considering the amount of money that I paid for these wheels, which I know now, I can find them online cheaper. Mind you, when they first came out, Truthfully, I fell in love with these things. I saw them. I wanted them. I thought they were going to look great. I had to have them. This is Canadian dollars. I'm in Canada. I paid $345 per rim. And this is the shit I get. Thanks for nothing.